Hello, Whitney. We're sending this because we love you and we know you're going to be a terrific mother because you had one. So this is a, a gift to you and we're thinking about you all the time and hope everything goes well. Hi, Whitney. We love you so very much and are glad that we had that special time with you when we came to Arizona. We hope all is well and we know that you're going to be a wonderful, wonderful mother. Love you. Yes, Bye. Yes, we do. We love you. Hello, I'm Lori. I'm Whitney's aunt. Her dad is my brother, Derek. First of all, Whitney, I'm really sorry I'm not at your shower. I hope it turns out beautiful. I'm sure it will. We are so excited for you and McKay. This baby is already coming into the world with a huge advantage having both of you as her parents. It's going to be so fun for all of you. If I had any advice for you, it would be just to enjoy every minute because it goes by way too fast. I love you and we can't wait to meet her. Hi, my name is Riley. I am Whitney's little sister. I'm so sad that I have to make this video because I would love to be at her baby shower in person, but sadly I'm in the middle of school right now, um, so I'm just not able to make it. But I have always been close with Whitney. Our whole lives, we kind of grew up paired off together. Um, our family would refer to us as the girls. Um, just we knew that meant both of us together. Um, I think sometimes when I was younger, I was annoyed by it, but looking back, I absolutely love it. Um, we just got to be roommates together in college and we were, you know, lifelong roommates as we shared a room most of our lives. But the thing I love about Whitney is that she's always been a great example to me. Honestly, she's been my second mom for most of my life. Um, she was always there to defend me, um, to stand up for me, but also just to lead by example. Whitney will make such a great mom, and that little girl is so lucky to have her. Love you, Whit. My name is Rachel Gordon. I am Whitney's cousin, and I just wanted to say that, Whitney, I think you're going to be such an amazing mom and I am so excited for you. We love you so much. Hi, Wit, Cousin Kylie. One thing that I really learned with Hudson is to really savor and use those middle of the night feeds or times when they're awake and you're just looking at their little face going, it's the middle of the night. It's time to be sleeping. Um, as these true bonding times. With Hudson, it was the only time of the day when it was just him and I, typically, unless someone had Olivia. Um, but I really learned to like look forward to and value those kinds of sleep deprivation nights. But it's the time when I got to talk to him and I got to bond with him. Congratulations, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see your cute face. Good morning, Whitney. Sorry I can't be there, but congratulations. I'm Tara. I'm her cousin, and I'm so excited to have the baby. Um, I would just say one bit of advice is to still be Whitney. Like, be mom, but don't forget to take care of yourself. Because if you get behind on that, it's hard to get on top of it. Love you. Hi, Whitney. It's Jane and Elena, Whitney's cousins. We're so excited for you and for the luckiest baby ever. Gonna be the cutest baby in the world because you and McKay are so cute, and we love you. And you are the best babysitter to us, and you're gonna be the best mom ever. Love you. Hi, I'm Whitney's aunt Gail, and this is Whitney's nephew. What's your name? James. And I just want to say, anything you're going through, we've all been there. So just ask us. We'd love to help you out. Hope it's a wonderful shower today. Bye. Hi, I'm Caitlin, Whitney's cousin. Uh, Whitney, I am so excited for you to have a new baby. You are going to make the best mom. Uh, of course, we already knew that. Um, if there's one piece of advice I can give to you, it's sleep when that baby sleeps. Love you, miss you. Sorry, couldn't be at your shower. Congratulations. Hi, Whitney. Hi, Whitney. It's Julia. And Lisa. And I'm your cousin. <laughs> and I'm your aunt. We're so excited for you. What a lucky baby. We love you guys so much. You're always so fun to hang out with. One of my favorite memories was when you and McKay were leaving on your honeymoon and got to come and visit us. We loved it so much, and I love that you played games with my kids and hung out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 
We love you. Bye. Happy baby. Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm Whitney's cousin. Um, you can do it. You're capable. You can meet their needs. Just believe in yourself and give yourself grace on those hard days. Love you. Miss you. Bye. Hello, Everly, and um, have a great baby shower, and um, have a great baby girl, and I'm so thankful that I really want you to love her. I'll love her too, Angie. I mean, bye. Hi, everyone. My name is Ashley. I'm Whitney's cousin on the Harper side. Um, just a few things I love about Whitney is that she has a huge heart. She always is so kind and includes people and she just got the right amount of sass. Love you, Whitney. Hi, Whitney and everyone at the shower. My name's Lindsay. I am Whitney's most experienced cousin. Um, I'm so excited for you. Can't wait to meet the sweet baby. One thing I love about Whitney is her thoughtfulness. She's always looking out for others. And my best piece of advice is to not sweat the small stuff. Some of those things we really stress out over just really don't matter. And if we let those go, we can focus on what's important. Congratulations. I think everyone knows how I'm related to Whitney. I'm Whitney's mom. We're so excited for you, Whitney, to be a parent. You are loving, fun, funny. You have a great um, a way that you teach kids and are so patient with them and your beautiful testimony of Jesus Christ. You and McKay are going to be wonderful parents. We're so excited to meet baby girl. We love you so much. Congratulations. I'm Cassidy. I'm Whitney's cousin on the Harper side. Whitney, I love you so much and I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see pictures of the new baby girl. Congratulations to both of you again. Hi, I'm Morgan and I'm Whitney's older sister and Whitney was born to be a mother. She has that natural mother instinct um, just within her and she's gonna be really incredible. And I know it's gonna come to her quick and um, there'll be hard moments for sure, but she's gonna be able to handle it. She's gonna be able to take it all, take it all on and she's gonna do a great job. Um, if I could give one piece of advice, which she doesn't need it, but um, it would be to enjoy it all because it passes by so fast. And before you know it, your newborn is five years old like mine. So love you, Whitney. So very excited and happy for you. Hi, Whip. Family and friends gathered there. I'm Grandma Harper, and I'm so, so sorry that I can't be there with you to celebrate the upcoming birth of this sweet baby girl, our 40th great-grandchild. One particular memory quickly came to my mind, and that was the chick flick dates that Riley and Whitney and Grandma had. Um, I still have, I can't remember a lot of the details of those dates, but I still can remember the warm lovable feelings that we had as we got together and enjoyed those dates. Grandpa tried to ruin our dates because he'd always say, those Hallmark movies are so predictable. But after he would harass us for a little while, then he'd settle into his chair and watch the predictableness with us. We really love our Whitney. And every minute uh, that we spend with her has provided sweet and lovable memories for us. We love you, Whit.